the Tesla Optimus humanoid robot will likely require three major iterations to reach a highly refined version. That's according to Elon Musk, who said on the latest All In podcast. Um, so the you could expect that in high volume, uh, and, and I'd say that you also probably need three three production versions for Optimus. So you need to refine the design th three at least three major times, and and then you need to scale production to sort of the million unit plus per year level, mm. and. I think at that point, the cost, the, the, the you know, the, the, the labor and materials on Optimus is probably not much more than ten thousand dollars. Tesla plans to manufacture a limited number of Optimus robots in 2025, with wider availability in 2026. He expects the robot to reach a production scale of one million units per year within five to six years. At at scale volume with three major iterations of technology and, and so if a small car you know costs twenty five thousand dollars you know it's, it's it's probably like a i don't know twenty thousand dollars for, for an optimus for a humanoid robot that can be your your body like a combination of r2d2 and c3po but better yeah um, i mean you know that's that and i honestly i think people are gonna get really attached to their humanoid robot because i mean like you look at sort of you watch star wars and it's like r2d2 and c3 i love those guys yeah. um you know, they're awesome, um, and the, their personality, and, and I mean, and all, R, all, all R2 could do is just beef at you. Right? <laughs> he said the next iteration will have greatly improved hand designs that approach human capabilities. The Tesla bot's current hand design has 11 degrees of freedom. That means it can move its fingers and thumbs in multiple directions, but not as extensively as a human hand, which has about 25 degrees of freedom. The actuators, which are responsible for movement, are located inside the hand itself. This setup makes the hand bulkier and less agile, reducing its ability to perform delicate tasks that require precise control and adaptability. The current Optimus hand can grip and manipulate delicate objects, but cannot yet handle complex tasks requiring a high level of dexterity like threading a needle or playing a banjo. Tesla is pushing the AI robot toward production as a growing array of companies race to corner the humanoid robot market. In the US, it's up against the likes of the Figure O2, Agility Robotics' Digit, Boston Dynamics' Atlas, and Sanctuary Eyes Phoenix. One X is also generating buzz with its Neo robot, which the startup hopes to mass produce in the next few years. And I think this is going to be probably the most exciting time ever in history to be alive. And I'm so glad to be part of this. And I think we have a possibility here to solve so many societal problems. There's also an onslaught of advanced AI robots emerging from China, including the Fourier GR1 and GR2, the Xbang PX5, the Xiaomi Cyber One, and Unitree's H1 and G1. The number of robots on the planet versus humans. Yeah, I think the number of robots will vastly exceed the number of humans. Vastly, Could, yeah. Vastly okay. exceed. I mean, you have to say, like, who, who would not want their robot buddy? Everyone wants a robot buddy. Musk also said he sees the robot playing a key role with future Mars colonization efforts. Musk also recently said he envisions the Optimus eventually integrating with Neuralink. We, yes, you could communicate with Optimus. Uh, yep, absolutely. Elon Musk envisions a future where physically handicapped people's abilities could surpass the able body. If you take parts of the Optimus, Optimus humanoid robot and you combine that with a neural link, let's say somebody has lost their arms or legs, uh, well, we, we could actually attach an Optimus arm or Optimus legs uh, and uh, do a neural link implant so that the, the motor commands from your brain that go, would go uh, to your, your biological arms now go to your robot arms or robot legs. Um, and again, you'd, you'd have basically cybernetic superpowers. That's what he said during Neuralink's latest update when discussing future integrations between Neuralink and Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot. He said Neuralink patients could give commands simply by thinking that would enable even those who can't speak or move to control Optimus through the brain-computer interface. In the future, he said, patients could have robotic arms or legs connected to Neuralink controlled by the brain. Neuralink recently announced it had completed its second successful transplant. The patient, a quadriplegic named Alex, successfully used the brain-computer interface to control digital devices with his mind. He could move a computer cursor, 
play video games, and even design 3D CAD objects using Autodesk 360 Fusion. Neuralink said that the testing shows their brain-computer interface could enable people with limited mobility to perform complex tasks using just their brain signals. On X, Elon Musk said he hopes to have Neuralinks installed in hundreds of people in the next few years. If all goes well, he said, millions of people could have the brain chips in a decade. Musk also envisions a future where humans could upload their minds into robots, enabling them to continue existing in some form after death. Musk made the prediction on his X platform, responding to a post asking, would you copy your brain into an optimist to live longer after your physical body die? He said eventually humans will likely be able to upload a good approximation of their memories and mind states into the cloud. The digital twin could then be used to power the humanoid robot. He said, obviously you won't be quite the same as you are today. The vision is similar to what futurist Ray Kurzweil predicts will happen by the 2040s. The author of The Singularity is Near. When humans transcend biology believes human consciousness could effectively be stored to unlock digital immortality. Comprehensive brain scans would capture all the connections that create thoughts and memories. That data would then be uploaded to a computer, where the mind would continue on in digital form. Critics argue the complexities of human consciousness and the mind are too vast to fully capture by current or even future technology. Elon Musk announced the Tesla Optimus humanoid robot during Tesla's 2021 AI Day. Also known as Tesla Bot, Optimus is engineered to take on tasks that are unsafe, repetitive, or boring for humans. Its development is watched closely. As of July 2024, Tesla plans to manufacture the robot in limited quantities in 2025 for internal use and offer it to other companies in 2026. Musk has set high standards for Optimus, predicting the project will eventually boost Tesla's market cap to $25 trillion. I think everyone in the world is going to want one. I think we could make one for a cost of maybe at, at, at really high scale of about $10,000. It's, it's, it's smaller, it's, it'd be less expensive than a car. Tesla would basically make about a trillion dollars of profit a year from that. So, yeah. Standing around five foot eight, and weighing 125 pounds, Optimus features advanced AI and automation tech developed by Tesla for their electric vehicles. Tesla plans to incorporate its full self-driving computer into the Tesla bot, adapted for bipedal locomotion and task execution. In 2024, a small number of Optimus robots started working in Tesla's factory. Remember to subscribe to stay hip on the latest in humanoid robotics. Leave suggestions for humanoid robots to include in future roundups in the comments.